Hi, this is Edmund Punov and in this video I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial slash improvisation where I'll be editing one of my shots of the models and today we're going to be focusing specifically on skin tones. So let's get to it. All right, so for this tutorial, we're going to be using a shot um, with Lady that I filmed in Ibiza during Paradise Challenge last year. And so this is a very nice, this is a very nice looking shot. And so I'll just give you an idea of um, what kind of specs we have here. This is a 8-bit um, 4K video. It was filmed in 50 frames per second and I changed the clip attributes to 24 frames. So this way we have a nice, you know, fluent kind of slow motion shot. And so today we're going to be focusing on, on skin tones and I'll show you a very simple way to actually make sure that you know that your skin tones are right because actually one of the one of the things that I come across when when editing shots is I you know I, 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 I import a shot and straight away I'm like okay this looks amazing usually because you know when you're working with a good camera with with the good lens with a professional model with with the right makeup you know so many things are already right and that's also very important when you're filming is that you try to get it um, you know right in the first place you know the, the better you're going to film um, in the first place you know the better lighting you're using the better equipment the more professional you know models actors clients you have the easier it's going to be in the post-production so um, but if I can you know like summarize it you know especially lighting is crucial and that's that's you know when I'm when I'm editing this is actually a shot where there was no additional light this is just a daylight coming from outside um, and it looks already very nice also on the background we don't have so many things that are distracting so you know even though we we will probably use you know some kind of vignette around the video eventually as, 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 as a last step, then I think that this is quite a good, cool shot. And by the way, uh, this shot is, um, um, is free for you to download and experiment with. And in the description you will find the link. So let's, let's go. I'm going to the colors and straight away on the vector scope I can see like how much out of balance the, the colors are and it's it's quite all right because we actually have a lot of those colors here but we don't want our model to blend you know blend too much with the background and with the with the couch so I'm going to the simple standard workflow three nodes the first one is uh, primaries the second one is white balance and the third one is going to be skin tones let's start with that so switching to waveform primaries there we go let's play a little Let's play a little bit with the shot. Um, how should I do this? Well, filming with the, you know, with the low ISO, I can get so much out of this picture. Let's just keep it simple. There we go. I like it. Also, when I'm looking at the white balance, I can already see. Actually, judging on our on our teeth is that this shot was already okay. It was all right, but we're going to make it even more beautiful because, you know, those are beauty shots. Um, primaries, maybe a little bit of contrast. 
um, let's play with the pivot, which determines where, uh, you know, where the contrast is applied. Okay, let's, let's keep it this way. Okay, I like it. Let's go to the white balance. I'm going to switch to vector scope. There we go. Um, and the first thing that I want to adjust, let's adjust everything. So I'm going to use the offset and I'm going to try to balance it a little bit more. And so you can already see it in the background that the wall and the doors are becoming a little bit more blue. So in this shot we want some, you know, we want those colors to be a little bit more dynamic. Um, how about the shadows? Let's play a bit with the shadows as well. Maybe at the end of the shot, maybe at the end of this whole process, I will, you know, add some kind of lookup table. But for now, but for now, I actually like what I see right now. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see how it looks like. For now, it's fine, because the next step are the skin tones, and for that, we will isolate her skin and see what we can do and see if the colors are actually right, because that's, uh, that's also a tricky part. You know, when you are looking very long at the shot, um, you know, your eyes start to deceive you, because your, your brain will automatically you know, assume different things like, okay, you know, the white is white, the white that you see is white, but it doesn't mean that the white is actually white in the video. You know, and that's where you need the vector scope for, that's when you need, you know, different tricks, different techniques in order to make sure that your, um, that your shot is correct, you know, and that someone watching it on a, on, on a different screen um, and especially someone else watching your shot will see it in in this way as well okay let's find a hero moment by the way this is lady and uh, make sure to follow her she's quite successful very cool girl down to earth i really enjoyed you know um, working with her and talking with her getting to know her and um, she's amazing original originally from cuba um, and I think right now she's based uh, in USA. I'm going to, just before the skin tones, I'm going to adjust a little bit more contrast, but this way, this one, this time with a different pivot. There we go. Okay, so the skin tones, let's keep it simple. What, what do we want about the skin tones? We want the skin tones to be somewhere around, around the mid-tones and we want the color to be right. And I'll show you exactly how I do it. So let's go to the qualifier and let's play around a little bit with what we have here. That's why the white balance is so, so important is because you can you can separate her from, from, for instance, her from, from the couch. We're going to, this is also always a little bit of a tricky process, but in some way very satisfying, sometimes frustrating, but let's just play around a little bit. I must say, I know that I'm creating a tutorial about this, but I still need much, way more experience. And in these tutorials, uh, in those tutorials, I'm just showing you how, how I do it myself, how I do it for my, for my videos. And let's 
blur the radius. There we go. Denoise it a little bit and see if we can do something about this hair. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm not going to go too crazy about this skin tone. So I'm not going to care about her hair for now, but I'm more Actually, what I want to do more is show you how to make sure that her skin tones are correct. And that's where the vector scope comes in. Meaning that if you go to the options, you can see the skin tone indicator. And that's this line between the yellow and red that appears when you put it on. And this is the one that, that it's a little bit of a guideline when it comes to, okay, this is where the color of your skin tones should be. And uh, it, it's not universal, meaning that it's not always showing you the correct way because, you know, sometimes I, a, a model that you are filming can have, you know, a, a um, can be very tanned, for instance, you know, so, don't you shouldn't take this tool too seriously uh, you should still um, you should still trust your intuition uh, you should trust you know your own experience and also you know your vision of how you will, how you want this video to look like but for now let's play around a little bit with it and I'm going actually to use offset straight away move it in the direction of the line like this and as a matter of fact here you can see what works and what what doesn't so let's keep it on the line and let's make it even more vibrant there we go let's see how it looks like turn it off turn it on and there you go, you can already see like how, how much of a difference it is and how important it is to, to isolate the skin tones because you can already see how much difference she looks from the background. And in the beginning it looked all the same. So there we go. It's a nice looking shot, it looks beautiful. And the other thing that I want to add well, actually, let's keep the same note, is I want to make sure that her skin is a little bit softer. And for that, I'm going to do to use the mid tone detail. And to show you what it does, if you go to the right, you're going to have kind of more contrast. And if you're going to the left, you're going to make her skin look more um, more soft. So that's the shot we have right now. And again, I, I, I promise to keep it quite short. Um, I'm not going to work too much on this on this shot. I'm not going to even to look use a lookup table. I'm just going to add a vignette. Let's focus on speed. There we go. Let's blend it a little bit. Let's make it a little bit softer. There you go. And so the, obviously there are many ways in, in which we can, you know, use this shot that we can work with it. But for now, this was before. And this is after. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I need, for now, I need some inspiration when it comes to tutorials because I, I get very good reactions. However, I don't really know what you guys want me you know, to talk about or what kind of videos you want me to show. Uh, so if you have any ideas of well, you know, what you would like to learn or what kind of questions you have for me, um, make sure to post them in the in the comments below make sure to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel uh, subscribe to my email list and also 
experiment with this very short. You will find it in the description below. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. This was a DaVinci Resolve tutorial and I, uh, I see you in the next one.